Hi, I'm Ollie Williamson. I'm the head chef at The Fat Duck. I suppose the DNA of the, the, the food at The Fat Duck is question everything. Um, it comes from the top, it comes from Heston. I mean, everything we do each day, day in, day out, you have to question it. And that's when it's, you know, when you are doing those jobs each day, it can become repetitive, monotonous. And then that's when the skill of the, the senior chefs and the chefs on the section is, is and, and front of house. Everybody who works here, you have, to, you have to stay engaged, stay questioning what you're doing. Um, I suppose that's how I'd describe, yeah, the food style. A typical dish here on the menu at the minute is the quail jelly. So in the base, you've got a little pea, pea mousse with turnip. On top of that, we set a quail consomme jelly. And then we put a little longestine cream, roasted longestine shells with, with cream on top. Um, on top of that, there's a little chicken liver parfait chives, salt, pepper, a fig twill. That's, that's the bowl. And then on the side you've got a little truffle toast. Um, so truffle butter made with all the trim, um, truffle hache, some pickle radish just to cut the richness, some chervil, um, salt and pepper. Um, and then on the side there's a little oak strip um, which you just put on your tongue. It tastes very woody and it just dissolves on your tongue to start the dish. So the whole dish is kind of like a harmony of uh, a dish that Heston ate at um, Alan Passard when he went there, so he had like a pigeon jelly dish. And then the, the, when it's put down to the guest, the question is asked, how do you taste a smell? And so we pour the dry ice and there's a scent of uh, oak moss dilution on there. And you can just smell woody smell. Um, and that's the kind of two inspirations for that dish. Another typical dish is uh, the mock turtle soup. So first into the bowl is a little uh, mock egg made of turnip juice and swede juice. Um, then around the outside, there's some pickled cucumber, some pickled turnip, braised ox tongue, and then on top, some mustard seeds, some little anoki, and some parsley cress. Uh, so on the side, uh, on the Mad Hatter stand, we serve a little sandwich. Um, so you've got sliced bread. Um, on top of there, you've got uh, an egg white mayo, so cooked egg white in the mayonnaise. On top of that, some slice of truffle, and then some gastrique of uh, alcohol, so uh, loads of port, Madeira, reduced all the way down. So in the middle of the sandwich, uh, we've got an actual uh, piece of toast. So this is Mrs. Beecham's kind of famous recipe to have a toast sandwich. And then on top of that, we've got some bone marrow with shallots and chives inside. And then on the other side, you've got a uh, cooked egg yolk with mustard uh, through it. On top of that, some cucumber, and then some homemade tomato ketchup with spices. And then that's all assembled, built, um, and put inside a special contraption. We used to cut it into perfect uh, triangles. So normally at the table, um, the guest would get, uh, get their teapot on top of their dish. They, they'd get the watch and drop it in themselves. That kind of melts. Um, yeah, they, they make the kind of beef mock turtle soup at the table. And um, then they pour it themselves over their, their turnip, their mock egg, and then they enjoy the sandwich on the side.